Welcome to today's PvP challenge. For today's fight, both Link and myself are not allowed to step on tiles that we had already stepped on before. We are only allowed to kill monsters for our gear, but if materials are dropped, we are allowed to process them. We're allowed to use any gear setup to progress with, but we must use melee to make it more challenging, the only exception being when killing bosses. Telegrab is banned to also make it more difficult. After three hours, we gear up, and then we fight. Alrighty guys, I'm actually quite nervous to start this one because I keep trying to plan specific things, but I don't know if it's going to be a lot easier than I expect or a lot harder than I expect, which is a really funny way of basically just saying I have no idea what to expect with this challenge. Um, I am going to focus on just killing some high level monsters first. But I gotta be careful I do things in a specific order. Like, for example, I can't just run up without thinking about it through the Slayer Tower. Because then I might block certain pathways to get deeper in the Slayer Tower. I gotta do things kind of methodically. I wanna start off with the Catacombs of Kurend. There's a lot of entrances to the Catacombs of Kurend. But I'm still scared I'm somehow gonna mess that one up. We're gonna start with Brutal Black Dragons. So let's start that timer. And let's begin. So as mentioned, we are allowed to walk on the same tile twice in our house. It actually looks like it doesn't unlock it automatically in your house. And don't ask why there's a bunch of random tiles there because I don't have the answer to that. We're going to enter through this way so we can kill Brutal Black Dragons and not mess up the main entrance portion of the catacombs. So let's just start potting up now. This is a time challenge. We got to be kind of quick. Oh, I'm already stepping on a bunch of tiles. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of kills. The first kill, we get dragon darts. Dragon dart tips. Come on. You can sort yourself out there, bud. Oh my god. No, he didn't. Okay. Gonna have to now walk over there. Let's definitely pick up the hides and the dragon dart tips. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to attack him because it's single, it's single combat here. And then we get a rune full helm. Oh my god. Okay. This guy's so gonna fucking yoink it if I don't pick that up. So we'll get this kill pick up his loot, walk over here, and then try to get two more kills, and then maybe walk up to Brutal Reds. I think that's what we might have to do, because I, I think getting multiple kills before I pick up loot is going to be insanely difficult with this guy here. I fucking told you he would! I picked up one helm, dude snagged everything else it dropped. I had to walk on like a weird diagonal pattern to get here, and I can't even pick that up. That's right, it always drops in the southwest tile. But I gotta, like, shimmy it like this. I gotta really be careful. I don't know why I stepped in that extra square here. I should be fine on this one, and then I can swing back up. So look at all the drops I haven't picked up from the Brutal Reds. That's why I can stay here a lot longer at the Brutal Red Dragons than the Brutal Blacks, because when I get things like Runeful Helms and Black Dragon Hide, I have to go and pick it up, which means... Like, if I want to pick up those law runes that just disappeared, I would have to go in the middle of the layer. And that's what really messes you up, and that's what fills in all the squares. Uh, I also kind of messed up by not bringing nearly enough super restores and, and food. Last kill from the Brutal Red Dragons, Addy Full Helm. We have to tell you. Okay, prayer pots are going to be huge. We need a lot more prayer pots going forward. And just fill up our inventory. If we overeat, we overeat. Um, we gotta be careful where we bank as well, because you can't keep banking at the same spot. I guess we'll just make Edgeville our first one. Um, because even with banking, we have to be concerned about stepping on the same tiles. Which is kind of crazy to think about. See, I'm even overthinking this. I'm gonna walk, like, the long way around and, and hit, hit this booth right here. We've learned from past mistakes, and we have a lot more super restores now, less food. I'm not going to be killing things that do as much damage as Brutal Black Dragons or Brutal Red Dragons. But now we're going to go to the heart. And here's where um, I'm a little nervous to really do this. Because actually, it tells me in a good spot. I don't know if I could like re-enter this. No, it puts you right in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of like a one and done. Uh, at least with this entrance it is. I could always come up this way. And hit all of these. The Blood Veils, the Jellies dust devils so maybe i should take this north because i could then go to the glade and come up that way yeah that's what i'm gonna do 
I'm also going to kill just a few blood velds. I think it's in good practice just to kind of kill monsters as you go. Since you have such a limited amount, you can kill of every monster anyway. So, I'm not going to stay here a, lo a long time, but just a few. Just a few. Fill up the space a little bit. What you should always do is walk diagonal as well. Because, like, I could have just trapped myself. If I had gone all the way up, then I wouldn't have been able to pick up those blood runes without then crossing the path I had made. But if you walk diagonal, you can then walk diagonal through it the other way. Not really too much from Blood Veil, just a meat pie. I don't think I can get that without sacrificing a food anyway. Uh, fuck it. We're gonna come right up to Necrols. Empty world. Now, Necrols aren't aggressive. Aggressive monsters are gonna be the best monsters, because you can just kind of stand there, and then you have 10 minutes of aggro, and you don't have to move unless you get a good drop. Another rune full helm. I don't know if I'll bother picking that up, because I already have one. We also got a Natty Battle Axe, which is our only and best weapon as of now as well. Well, I guess maybe the darts are, but I don't have the feathers yet for those. So many weird niche scenarios, like I have to shimmy- Oh no! We went the wrong way! Are you kidding me? Why is this Necro, like, dumb? Again, with the slots I already have, we want things like Addy Kites, Rune Square Shields, Rune Boots, Mystic Staves, things like that. Blood runes, death runes. Let's go! All you do is complain! It's that easy! And the kill after. I don't know which is better, actually. I'll just... I'll just fucking pick it up. I'll just pick it up. It's okay. It's, it's, it's one tile. It's one tile. Hello, Bings and Jinx. Welcome back to another PvP challenge. As you can see, pretty obvious what I'm going to start with here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some demonic gorillas. Um, the main reason for this is uh, I want to see if I can get myself some rune bolts. Because uh, I would like to go down the rune crossy. Uh, I think it's going to be fairly easy to get a rune crossbow together. So yeah, I'm hoping that we can get... Uh, some rune bolts here, so that's what we're going to start with. Um, I've come with a slightly less conventional setup than normal. I've taken a load of brews with me because I don't want to waste tiles when the boulders come down. So I'm going to try and tank some of those boulder hits so I'm not moving around as much. Um, but the benefit of this, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it here. I don't think we are, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to see it because it's not on the map. But the benefit of this dungeon is it's so, like, windy and goes pretty deep down that we'll be able to kill, like, a demonic here. And if we waste a load of tiles, I'll just go further down into the uh, into the dungeon. So, I'm going to start this timer. I'm going to start my tiles as well, so they'll start counting now. Boom. Tiles are on. And the timer's on. Let's do it. So, I sort of want to just get this one first but that's not going to happen is it so maybe if i go here and then one of these two there we go okay he's going to melee me first no worries and yeah we're just going to see if we can get ourselves some rune bolts i'm going to see if we can get a boulder so that i can show you look we're just going to have to tank it we're going to take a lot of damage that does a percentage of my health so i'll probably like be smart about it and every time it looks like a good time, like this is going to do less damage now. Now I've got to start thinking about it, you know. There we go. First drop. It's a Sara Brew. I am going to take that. Boom. Which means I'm going to have to go deeper into the dungeon here. Let's eat up. Take the brew. Bees of G's. Oh, eat, 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 eat. Don't die. I'm getting out of it. I'm just getting out. <laughs> 2KC. <laughs> 2KC. Absolutely nuts. Okay, so as soon as I hit this Grand Exchange portal, yeah, they're going to start pulling tiles again, right. Okay, I got myself fully kitted out here. Again, going a little bit unconventional, I want to be able to survive as long as I can in places. And so, with the brews, that's going to help. We're going to Rune Dragons, because I want Rune Bars. Tools are provided, I don't have to bother with tools, so it's just literally get the Rune Bars. Uh, let's check this and go to Lithcran. I think it's a pretty simple in and out here. Yeah, it is. Come on. Let's get a few of these. I got insulated boots on, so I'm not even going to bother moving for that. Similar to what we were doing with the uh, demonics. I got I to gotta minimize moving here, you know. Uh, we could probably do a little loop round as well. I doubt I'll get more than like three kills, to be completely honest. I've taken an Ellie with me, by the way, uh, just to minimize as much damage as possible. Boom. Okay, that is going to be a rune bar secured. 
Uh, we get the Wrath Runes as well. Probably not going to be too helpful. We can just walk straight over and kill this one. Okay, we could be okay here, to be fair. I've got a couple... I'm, I'm going to brew up. I'm going to brew up because we've got to hit the Restore anyway. Nice. And we will just do that. Ooh, Rune Longsword, Rune Bar. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, let's eat. Let's take the Rune Bar. Dragon Bone's not too bothered about, and we're just going to go down here. This is such a fucking weird challenge, bro. I'm going to wait for the dragon to actually get... Okay, nice. We got the aggro of this one now, which makes it a lot easier. Because we can kill this one, we can take the loot, then we can probably go down here. Nice. Oh, we got the aggro of the right one as well. That's so nice. Uh, Dragonstone. Hmm, that's interesting, actually. We might be able to get a glory together. Uh, so we'll take the Dragonstone, we'll take the Rune Bar... Boom. Let's see where this loot lands and whether it's worth picking up. Rune bar in 3k, but it does land in a spot that we can take. Uh, boom. Very, very nice. Uh, I've now trapped myself completely in. There's no way out for me. So that is going to be my last kill there. Bloody, what, eight, nine bars? <sighs> take that. I was expecting to get like three or four. So happy days. Okay, that puts us in a good, a good spot. Okay, I'm a little bit worried to hit the Grand Exchange in case I get puts on the same tile. So I'm going to use a different bank. I think I'll just go like Sears Village because that's a pretty, like, like, am I going to use Sears? Probably not. So I'm going to bank here. All right, I'm in the Ancient Cavern. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that as well. Because the Skeletons and Barbarians down here drop U-Logs 1 in 10. There we go. Go on then, mate. Go on then. This brutal green didn't seem too interested in me at all. Let's do that. And again, I've come with like way too many brews and all that sort of stuff. Blood rune. Uh, I think if I just stand like here, he's going to keep aggroing me and that dragon shouldn't be able to get me. There we go. Boom. U logs on the account. Very nice. Okay, so we've got the runite bar. We've got the runite logs. We now need to sort out some sinew. There we go. And the raw bear meat. Perfect. This is going to be the last necro kill because it's getting really filled up, as you can see. And it's getting slow because I have to kind of wait for them to come to me. And then a lot of times they're on a square that I can't even pick up from. So I have to drag them somewhere else. And then that's what ultimately fills up the squares. Um, I can kill these in another location if I really want to. They're in a few locations, actually. <gasps> yes! I am so happy I stayed. I am so happy I stayed for one more kill. I don't mean to be wasting time here, but I have a bit of a change of plans now. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. I already have a shield and a helm. I feel like jellies are kind of just blah now. Blood velds, I'm not really too interested in. And I already killed some for some blood runes and stuff. Dust Devils, I have a Mystic Staff now. The only upgrade I can think about getting from Dust Devils is like a Dragon Dagger, but I'm not going to go there just for that. Bosses. We're going to kill bosses. Uh, I'm going to try the Phantom Muspa. I don't really know how possible it is, but such a good drop table. And then after that, I might give Vorkath a try. Little nervous, because it's kind of like you have one shot at it. If you die, you can't walk back because you need the same tiles to walk back, but um, going to give it our best shot. I had to take so much of this kill to not fill up a lot of the map, but it looks like we're doing all right. Just get it down, get it down. Please get it down. Not too bad. I struggled right here. I had to go in like a little zigzag formation. Oh, not really the best drop. Well, it's a shit drop fully. I mean, there's no way I can get another kill. Took me a bit to gear up for Vorkath because I am kind of rusty, but I think that is everything. Shit. Shit, shit. I'm worried too much about stepping on the same tile. Shit, I have to run over here to make sure it drops in the right spot. I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm only gonna be able to get one kill from this shit. <sighs> yes! 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 The dr oh my god! Oh, a blunder turned success! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't get another kill. That was, that was so bad. All right, let's, oh my God.
That's gonna be our weapon. I'm so excited. Rarg, baby. Hold on. Hold on. This is for all the homies at home. Let's fucking go. I actually did get bowstring. We could technically make an MSB. Problem is, is we need arrows. I might have gotten arrows as a drop, actually, but I didn't pick them up. Yeah, I got 25 rune arrows from a brutal red. Didn't even pick it up, but it's an option, maybe. I don't know if this is gonna work. I have no fucking idea. This might just backfire substantially, but we, we have to try. I've never exactly killed Zora before without moving. I don't even know what strat I should fucking attempt to use here. Do I just stay in the same spot and just try to tank everything? I forgot anti-venom. There is no fuck. Oh, <gasps> it's still from Vorkath. I still have it from Vorkath. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by me. No ads came in for the last few weeks, but I still want to upload for you guys. So I'm going to shout out my own channel and the join button down below. $5 a month, cancel anytime, and it helps support the channel massively. You get a cool little badge next to your name, and that changes the longer you remember, and you get access to sick emotes that you can totally spam on both videos and streams. The revenue I'd get from one $5 membership is probably more revenue in my pocket than if you watched all my videos on this channel twice over, so it's greatly appreciated if you guys wanted to help support. If not, no worries. All I can ask is you guys enjoy the content, so let's get back to it. Ugh, I might just start sipping my bruise. Come on, hit. I know I'm lowering my stats right now, but I absolutely have to hit. Oh, I didn't mean to brew again. Fuck. Just hit, just hit, pot, pot, hit, hit. Fuck. Um, I mean, I don't need that anyway. It's a shit drop, it's a shit drop. Okay, I have to be careful about this. There's two ways I can come in and out and then I can come out and then walk diagonally through. Okay, I thought I just messed up for a second. Oh my God, I did trap myself. Well, I'm at a bank, I could tell you out. I could actually just tell you out, but uh, um, I could actually, I could just do this because we, we want to go get grubby. Oh, I love the strats. I love this strat. Super anti, not bad. I'm not sure if I want to walk forward for that. Um, I can't really pick up any of the drops. It's going to be annoying for the ones on this square. I'm going to kill them anyway because I want them to spawn, hopefully on a different square. Maybe if I get a grubby, I just say, fuck it, I'll sacrifice the minus one and pick it up. The reason I can't just go running around like crazy is because, of course, they are aggressive. They're going to come to me. It's better if I just stay here and have them attack me. And I could stay here until they basically lose aggro, uh, which is why I'm not just, like, running through here because there's one way in. Um, I even thought about killing Serachnus, but if I go in and kill Serachnus, I can't tell you out and then come back in. I guess I can maybe come through this way, but I honestly don't even know how to unlock that door. So... We're going to try Temple Spiders first, then probably Undead Druids. Although, mm, yeah, again, it's very narrow passageways here and stuff. And even the baby reds over here. I don't know if I could really get out. It's tricky. Let's just hope we get a grubby key here. That's all I could say. Ooh, Rune Dagger. I literally just got a Weapon Poison Plus, then a Rune Dagger. I walked forward to get the Rune Dagger. Uh, I'm not going to go for that Weapon Poison. I'm not going to minus one inventory slot for that um but if we get another one elsewhere i probably will pick it up i don't really know if i'll bring it in the fight but i just like having options got two rune daggers so far picked one up and a rune med all are one in 100 the same chance as a grubby but no grubby damn yep that's out of aggro look i don't think this is gonna work um i obviously can't like leave and come back because there's no way for me to do that i'm just gonna try to like run around the room and see if that somehow works for over here uh how many oh it does work over here okay 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 that was 57 kills so if we can get one more aggro sesh then we should be good let me actually pick that up because i want to i want to come right here perfect that time again where they're de -aggroed. I'm gonna see if maybe I can finesse the same thing over here again. So if I walk over here, run all the way in the corner, 
And then maybe swing up here. Oh, wait, stop! Because they're aggressive. I don't know if enough are to spawn over here. Maybe? 124 kills. It looks like they don't want to play anymore. So... Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We got to go this way. And we need... Oh, wait. Dude, I don't get the aggros on, on these guys. Okay, this is a bad spot, but I could... Oh, fuck. Holy fuck, we got it, and it's in a good spot. Although, I don't know how I'm going to pick it up and then get through. I kind of fucked myself a little bit. If I could actually... Hold on, I might be able to finesse this. If I can come this way... This way. Can I not walk up there? I can. This way. This way. This way. This way. <laughs> Come over here. No, I fucked myself. I fucked myself. I fucked myself. I could either... Well, I can't telly. Alright, we got a minus one. And then... Minus two. I have to, guys. All in the name of the grubby. I could have just minus one... I tried to be fancy, and it backfired. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, these are all single tiles over here, so Serachnus is going to be shot. Because I can't walk back. And even if I got, like, a Grubby from Serachnus, I wouldn't be able to unlock it. So, what we have to see here is... Can we walk down? The answer is yes, and get back up. And sometimes it skips tiles like that. I, you know, it, it happens when maps are loading and whatnot. So if you do see a tile skip like that, that's that's the reason. Um, these guys, I oh my god, I didn't mean that to happen. But also these guys are going to be really tricky and I have to be kind of careful because they won't walk to me because they can use long range. So. And they damage quite quite frequently. So we're not going to be able to get many kills here. Long story short, we need to make sure we can diagonal back and open up the grubby. I'm, I'm here for a strength dammy and maybe another grubby. I can only get five kills. Oh, wait. This one's right here. Perfect. Um, I have to be careful still because I got to go that tile, that tile, diagonal. He fell, he fell right into my lap. If he's the strength dammy, I don't even know what to say. This one fell right into my lap as well. Look at me go. All right, let's just open up the grubby. Let's just open up the grubby. But, oh, sharks. Um, What did we... Did we not get any pots? We didn't get any fucking supersets? Or not even any range potions? I'm kind of... I'm kind of sad about that. Let's definitely pick up our sharks that we got. What? It's four sharks... Four potatoes, egg potatoes, and two prayer pots. And also, ten toad flaxes. Alright, next place I'm going is the polar hunter area. And I'm gonna go, like, here. I think. Dig. Nothing interesting happens. That's not ideal. Is it this one? Nothing interesting happens. Come on, let me in. Beautiful. Very nice. Now, the reason for this is I'm going to kill brine rats. I'm going to be a bit smart about how I do this because obviously um, I don't want to get myself caught in here and then not able to kill some. But uh, they drop noted raw shark 1 in 21 and 1 in 64. But they drop them in 3s and 8s. There's our first raw shark. Boom. So, my plan right now is... I'm sort of being a little bit more liberal with the tiles, and I'm killing one. And the, the the reason I've got them marked is, as you can see here, there's a respawn timer on them. So when I kill this one, I can see where he's going to respawn. Boom. So I'm just waiting the 15 seconds and killing them as I go. Just got three more shark here, but if I go there, I'm going to fuck myself. Because if I walk there, I'm not going to be able to get back out. So I die. So annoying. So annoying. Boom. I guess I can take the death runes as well, seeing as I'm on the tile. Now I've got to kill a new one to find out it's respawn, so I've just got to wait for one of these to sit nicely. There is another three raw shark. Boom. Very nice. Three more. Haven't hit the eight yet. The eight drop table is the one I want to see, but this is working okay. We've got 12. I've used 
sort of, I don't know, it's hard to tell if I've used half the room here or not, but uh, yeah, it's going okay. Oh, <laughs> there's the eight sharker, beautiful. That gives us 26, that's more than enough. Uh, if we burn a few, we can just use some of these raw swordfish. All right, sick, I'm out, I'm out. That was good, but it nearly took an hour to do that. Which it didn't feel like, because I was constantly like looking at the screen, but... <laughs> Maybe I could have spent the hour a little bit better. I don't know, but I'm going to bank all of this. We'll cook it with, uh, you know, the time at the end. Get rid of that. And I'm going to go over to God Wars now. The reason for this is I want to get some astral runes together because if I'm going to kill some black dragons in a bit, uh, I want to be able to use the tan leather spell because we're not allowed to use shops at all. So tan leather will obviously help me with that. I'll be able to get myself... The black dragon hide turned into, well, I guess, yeah, black dragon hide to leather. Uh, I want to go down here and into the door, frozen door. Very nice. And yeah, we're going to kill blood reavers. It's one in eight to get astral runes from them, so it just makes sense. Boom, there's the astrals. Let's eat that. Happy days. Uh, I might kill a couple more just to try and get some nature runes. There's so many around here, so I'll just kill, like, all of these and see if we can get any nature runes together. There they are. There they are. Don't even need to kill this one. Right, next, I'm going to go to the Graveyard of Shadows to kill zombies because they drop um, cosmic runes. One in 21. Fucking first drop. You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. Uh, I didn't bring a telly. And getting back in is going to be yeah, a bit annoying. I guess I could run this way around. Yeah, I'll do that. Next location, we are going to go to the Crafting Guild. And then from here, we are going to kill the fire wizard for some fire runes. Uh, it's 1 in 1.053. So, like, almost as close as you can get to 1 in 1. Uh, so, hopefully, it just takes one kill to do. But, yeah, there's the fire wizard there. Come on, mate. Drop me some fire runes. I only need... There's ten. Yeah, I only need five. Perfect. All right, that is tan leather and um, enchant sapphire. Both all the runes I need for both of those. So that's perfect. Um, so let's go get some black dehyde. I'm going to try and do a sort of loop, like run around here, kill this one, kill another dragon, and then try and pick up all the dehyde that way. Just got fire runes anyway. So that was a little bit, a little bit of a wasted trip, but oh well. Uh, right, black dragon hide. Kill this one, pick up that black dragon hide, then I'll pick up that black dragon hide. I want to get a black dehyde body and van braces. Boom, take the black dragon hide, and then walk there, take that black dragon hide, and then I think I'm just gonna take this dragon. Yep, yeah, nice. Just wanted him to get out of the way a little bit. I'll take the fire runes as well, just in case I need to do anything else with them. I don't need any of this food. This is gonna be all the black dragon hide I need. I'm genuinely not gonna need any more of this. Now it's just cook food, make everything. All that good stuff. Alright, so we'll go on to the Lunar Spellbook first. And hit a Tan Leather. Very nice. And then we want to make a body. Nice. And some Van Braces. Beautiful stuff. And then we want to go on to the Standard Spellbook. And we want to cast that on there to give us a Ring of Recoil. Very, very nice indeed. All right, so we've got three bars for the rune kite shield, three bars for the broom plate legs, two bars for the rune fall helm, and one bar for the runeite limbs. Then I need that, and I need the U logs. So then we can make the stock here, crossbow stock, boom. And I'll just go quickly make all of this stuff, and then I need to cook this into sinew as well. There we go. Let's put that there. Rune crossbow unstrung. Sick. Um, should I just walk out here? Yep, go on then. We'll walk out this door. And I need to go cook these, which I can do over here. Don't want to chop. I want to go in here. And yeah, we can cook this into some sinew and get ourselves the rune crossbow. Sinew, thank you. Very weird pathing there, but okay. Uh, crossbow sp string sinew. Boo. <laughs> Guys, I'm fucking stacked and I've still got 51 minutes left. I think what I'm going to do, I still need to cook the food. So I might go and cook the food just so I know what I've got. Um, but what's on my mind right now is to try and get a ranging potion together. It's kind of fun actually trying to find a different bank 
to reset everything. As you can tell by my inventory, the Crystal Chime, I'm going to try to kill Warped Tortoises and Terror Birds. I believe I can just take this tree. What is it? Poison Waste. Right to the Poison Waste. Uh, walk right in there. And there's one as soon as you walk in, which is perfect. And we'll start killing that one. Now, there's two main things that I want to get from these two creatures. Because they actually have, like, the same drop table. And first, we're going to see if he's aggressive. Are you not aggressive? <gasps> You're not aggressive? That's not good. Um, there's two main things that we want. An Addy Play Body and Tangled Toad Legs. They heal 15 and it's better than lobsters. And now I think my whole plan's upside down because they're not aggressive. Oh, now I have a predicament. There's Tangled Toad Legs. If I just spam like this, I'm able to attack it without moving. Man, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to go for the Plate Body. I'm gonna have to. That'll save me more food than that gains me. Honestly. He dropped three more. <laughs> Just drop the play body now. All my problems are fixed. I decided to say, fuck it. I picked it up. I could just keep maneuvering my way through the cave and kill things as I go in and hopefully not walk on any of the same tiles. This kill might be shot. I mean, it is definitely shot. Don't be a body. <laughs> Room pickaxe, fuck off. We don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh... But yeah, sort of like this. I could just keep moving deeper. And there it is. We're also going to stay for a little bit longer. Because these guys actually drop sharks as well. And they're noted, I'm pretty sure. Like three to seven of them. I was hoping that would be, be... It would have been the perfect demonstration. We're obviously going to pick that up though. Uh, get in position. Nice. That was a perfect spot. I'm a little stressed that I had to break it. But it's fine. We got the Addy Plate body. Um, but like I said, we're going to stay. Same plan. Just kind of go through the tunnel. And look, they come right to me. It's so good. Come. Come to me. Ah, oh, there's the shark. I love it. I love it. How many? Four of them. Oh, this is great. Bro, there's no way. There's no way. Fuck it. I don't want to keep getting rid of my food oh fuck it just pick it up pick it up pick it up oh that's an upgrade that's a big upgrade i mean obviously i don't need to but <laughs> i'm just so tempted to pick it up i hate leaving stuff on the ground like there's something wrong with me let's pick that up i don't want to leave this cave yet i kind of messed up my position here a little bit but don't worry guys this this dungeon runs deep Whoa, I think that might be rare drop table. And this place is shit, so I'm gonna... Um, probably gonna go over there by the tar. Yeah, with these two. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Hold on. Let's see how many we get here. Because we do have other food and honest... Oh, only three? I'm tempted just to telly. Because 38 minutes, I want to do this clue, and I want to get legs. I want to get legs for the fight, so fuck it. We're going to dip. We're going to dip. Really shorted us out, though. Food, better shields, and a play body. We did not have a play body before. All right, we are going to do the clue. First one's in the wildy. We just don't want the same clue step twice. As long as we don't get the same clue step twice, we shouldn't really have to waste any food, at least to my knowledge. Hold on, we want to go to a very specific location here. 19 wilderness all right clue number two we'll just pick this up as well because why not um easy easy we haven't gone to varak yet easy so that's a real easy place to get oh gotta run down a little bit super easy one we definitely haven't been to karamji yet either and i can actually just use my brim haven cape telly and pretty much get right there and as always, I'm trying to run in like weird zigzags sometimes just so I can actually cross my path at some point if I need to. But I definitely haven't been perfect at it. I had to trap myself in here because I needed to get the slash book and I had to get the battered key because I didn't have it in my bank. But it looks like we're going to go ranging guild telly. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to hit it from the other side because we got to get in there for the next clue. This could just be the casket, please. Oh... Uh double agent uh we can just get all that stuff from my bank Posidious mess hall i've already hold on i've already done the glade i've done this telly um i guess i'll just do shazian 
run down and run up or run up this way. At this point, there's 31 minutes left. I don't have to be that crazy about conserving tiles, I don't think. Fuck, that is a long line I just drew. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be worth it for the clue. It's gonna be worth it for the clue. Am I not close enough? Do I have to get like fucking right in there? I guess I do. Where the hell? Oh, you're under a rat. What the? Cast, get me up. Please, please, please. Yes. All right, guys, we're just gonna open this right now. We want legs. Legs, some sort of leg wear would be incredible. I mean, that that's an upgrade. We already could have been able to make that. Uh, I would have rathered legs, obviously. Room play buddy, though. Upgrade. I will take it. Already have one on. Look at that. Um, okay. <sighs> Let's go to a bank. I, I've used a lot of banks so far. Let's go to a bank. Let's get our melee gear back on. And I'm probably just going to go to the Slayer Tower. Kill gargoyles. And then if I don't get them there and it fills up a bit too much, then I'm going to go to Necrols right next door because they drop Addy legs. And the gargoyles drop Rune legs and Addy legs. We just want legs. So I don't know how to approach this really because it seems like only this one's attacking me in this spot. This one isn't. I mean, again, I might just stay here for a bit like this exact spot, but since there's not much time, I might just start running around if I feel the need to. That was so fast. We're going to stay for the rune still. But, and we have to stay here because the Necrols are now... <laughs> no way, we just got back to back. Um, yeah, we can't really go to Necrols now because they don't drop rune legs, whereas these guys do. So I got excited and I went to pick up the gold door and the sapphire. And I kind of like fucked up my mojo here. I think, I think the one that spawns here is not going to spawn on these tiles. Uh, like look at them. Yeah. Fuck. I think I'm going to make this my last kill because we already got legs. I want to cook my food and I also want to try to go for Venge Sacks. Also, I kind of messed up. I didn't pick up Cosmic Runes, so I can't actually make that into Recoil. You know what? We'll make this our last kill and then I swear we're out. And that is all the food cooked. We're just going to head right to the Wildy now and yeah, try to get those Venge Sacks. It's the last thing we want to do. Almost trapped myself here. I mean, I could have just went around, but this is why it's always good to uh, make sure you're walking in diagonal so you can do that. Create a nice little X and then just keep going. No way, we just got one second kill. We're gonna have to end five of them as well. We only probably need like 10. Uh, okay, good. I'm gonna hope the spawns are good on this side. Actually, if I stay on a diagonal like that, why am I just thinking of this now? This is going to be my last kill, guys. And we still only have the five. Uh, oh, I saw the sacks. The ice sack. We're definitely not going magic. That is going to be it. Would this last kill have been it? Let's see. Mm. All right, guys. Let's tell you I'm out of here. I also completely forgot that we can get blighted food really easily. I was so hyper-focused on my gear. But to be fair... I think my gear is pretty solid. Over 2,269 tiles unlocked. And let's get our gear inventory. See what we're looking like. All right, I'm going to cook my sharks here because the Hercidious range has a lower chance of burning. I don't know why some guy's just dropping sharks here. And we don't have a full inventory of sharks, unfortunately. If I get a ranging potion, I'll only be one short. Um, I don't think I'm bringing anything else, am I? No. Um, so as long as we cook all these, I'll be pretty happy with the inventory. I don't know if it's possible to burn these at 99 cooking on the Hercidious range. Maybe not. Maybe I've, you know, nailed this. I definitely will not cook. I definitely will not burn the swordfish. There we go. We cooked every single one. Sick. And I'll probably just nail a home telly from here. Actually, I could hit that bank, actually, can't I? Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not going to come back here now, so let's do it. All right, so I'm going to go to Karend here and run down this way. And the reason for this is I'm going to go do Undead Druids um, because they've got a chance of dropping the Wine of Zamorak 1 in 50. Let's do these ones here because then if I need to telly out, I could then find another way to get to there and I could... Yeah. That's, that's the play. This is the play. Uh, I need to sort of work out how I'm going to do this, though. Obviously, that. Um, I sort of want to stand behind a pole or something because they will just mage me. So, 
I don't know how I don't know how effective this is going to be. To be honest, oh, I also chucked a uh, Blood Fury on for some passive heals as well, because uh, they're so accurate. Even in full Torva and an Elion, I'm still getting hit like mad. Uh, it'd be great if I just got the one of Zamrak instantly. Catatine, let's do it. Let's um, let's drop a brew. I think the brew. Mm, I don't know. I'm taking the Catatine either way because that is a halfway to a super defense. I've just got a fucking grabby key. I have just got a grubby key. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to walk over a spot here, but I can get there. Thankfully, I've decided to walk properly. Uh, yeah. I. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. Because if I start attacking these guys now, I'm gonna be completely f for the grubby key. I'm gonna have to go over. I can get ranging pots from it. Uh, wow. I've killed 13. I've got a grubby key insane so this is one inventory slot going boom and then i can just walk freely back yeah happy days and pick the lock it's probably not all going to fit in my inventory that's fine um i'll just keep an eye on what i've got boom let's open it ah uh, i got the super set at least i get a super defense i guess um red dragon hide yeah, a uh, few more sharks, actually. So one of those... Um, I don't need the super attack and strength. One of those swordfish we're going to have now becomes a shark, which is quite nice. Uh, super defense. Yeah, unfortunately not the ranging pot one, but that's fine. No stress. Uh, okay, let's dip out now. This is completely blocked up for me now. I'm going to try my luck at greater necreals now. They drop both dwarf weed and wine of Zamorak. Um, it's unlikely. The Dwarf Weed's one in like 700. I'm here for the one of Zamorak, really. And then I'd get the uh, I'd get the Dwarf Weed somewhere else. But we'll see. I don't know if this is going to work out or not. Oh, we got it. We actually got it. Wow. I really was not expecting that. I'm like genuinely surprised by that. Also got like two rune SQs and a rune chain there. Um, okay, cool. Now I need to get to the Dwarf Weed in 20 minutes. So let's see if that's going to happen or not. Right, I'm going to kill these cave crawlers. Oh, someone's already treated themselves, apparently. Uh, yeah, they dropped dwarf weeds. I thought someone had got a dwarf weed there. Unfortunately, no uh, dwarf weed. So, no raging pot for us, but I'm going to show you the setup. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I've nailed it. Let's get into this fight. I really do think we have a super solid setup. And we had options. We could have gone magic. We could have gone range. Um, the reason I have to go melee, guys, is the Dragon Battle Axe. Imagine I get a Dragon Battle Axe as my name, Rarg, and I don't bring it. It just would have been sickening. I thought about bringing a Magic Switch as well, but then, you know, I'd have to take off my armor. Not like an armor switch. I'd have to take it off. It gets messy. So I'm a little nervous he goes Magic, because then I think I might be a little bit in trouble. But the good news about the Dragon Battle Axe is that if he doesn't have a lot of good armor, I will tear through him every hit I get. Um, I do think it's worth bringing the only five sacks because that'll probably do more than 20 damage and it's worth me taking 20 damage, if that makes sense. Um, so sharks, blighted mantas, blighted anglers, and let's hope he's not going magic. Or if he does, let's hope like he doesn't have a staff or something really odd like that. I'll see you guys in the fight. This is going to be the setup, though. Uh, we lost one inventory slot for the Grubby Key, which we got the super defense from. Uh, and then we got some more sharks, which meant that I didn't have to take that one swordfish with me. Uh, so, yeah, that is the setup. We got the Black Dehyde Van Braces, the Black Dehyde Body, um, which we made both of those. We also made all of this as well. The only drops we actually got was the, I guess, Ring of Requo we actually made through Enchanting, but a Sapphire Ring and the Runite Bolts. Um, so yeah, in terms of stuff that I made, I really went down a route of let's go for very little RNG and just try and get a sick setup. So I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, 114 range attack bonus, really solid um, defense bonuses, especially if he thinks about going magic. We've got that plus 47 magic defense. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Let's have a look and see how he did. Little stressful, little stressful. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I like outed you in my episode. Yo, I was like, yeah. This, this Yo, fucking guy before. making me do this shit. <sighs> well, yeah. I guys, I making me do this. I give you stuff like ten clue scrolls, then we fight, and you get to have fun opening. This guy makes me stop walking. Your oh, the problem with your shit is like I gotta get a master 
and then like <laughs> nobody knows how long like it takes me three and a half hours to get a fucking master clue sometimes like <laughs> but i give fucked up rules like this so it, uh, it you know it averages out uh, anyways uh, man <laughs> Um, gosh, there's a lot to talk about it. I say we do it in the reveal, so... Yeah, cool. Hit cool, me cool, with cool. an item, and yep. let's do it. All right, I'm gonna go uh, ring. Oh, fuck. I don't... I don't have a ring. Nice. Don't have I have a, a ring. recoil. I have a recoil. Okay. Got a sapphire ring drop, and then got the, uh, the runes to uh, change it okay. into a recoil. Which I'm pretty buzzing about. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's, it's annoying. I actually did get the supplies, but I just didn't pick up the shit because it was like on tiles uh, I've used hey. in crap. So yeah, yeah. It's tough. To, it's tough to do that for sure. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shields. I'm going bold. I'm going bold. Right. right, right off the bat. Right off the bat. Boom. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go, Helmet. See if he got his favorite. Oh, uh, you yeah. fucking know it. Yeah, you the fucking boy. know it. The boy. Okay, all right. All right. La ba uh, no, legs. I want to go legs. Oh, fuck. Link, it was, it was the last slot I was going for, and I couldn't, oh, quite, no. couldn't quite get the Roonies. Were you trying to get them as a drop or just make them yourself? I was trying to get them as a drop. Right. Trying to okay. get them as a drop. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, let's go body bank. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's going fucking range. Oh. Dude, I got that from a clue scroll. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. How was it doing a clue with not being able to go on the same time? Is it that okay? It wasn't too bad because they're all different steps, obviously. Right. I mean, I guess yeah, I could have yeah. done the same steps twice, but it would have sacrificed a lot of inventories depending on the clue but yeah yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the clue itself was very easy okay. i think if you had to do like a second clue that's where shit starts to get a bit hazy but yeah, only, yeah, only yeah, did yeah. the one only got the one mm -hmm. fuck he's going he's gonna go fucking Ar arrange it mm. arrange it okay okay uh your pick mate your pick um let's go cape did you get a cape i don't have a cape don't have a cape either okay uh gloves <laughs> don't have a glove Okay. The black okay. dehyde van braces. I had a feeling you're gonna get magic. Honestly, I just really. I don't know. Yeah, I just thought it was quite easy to get a gear it, set up for it magic. It was. It was. I. I don't know. I just had such a vision in my head, and I wanted to stick through with it. And yeah, no, here fair. we are. Uh, Link, I'll be honest. I just have a weapon. Me too, dude. Me too. Okay. Uh, I don't <laughs> think mine's too surprising, but maybe it awesome. is. Maybe it isn't. Awesome. I don't know. All right, count us down, bro. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like one, one KC Vorkath. Wow. How was your Vorkath KC, bro? <laughs> you don't want to see the time. I could not have gotten a second kill. I'll, I'll oh be completely honest God. with you. Because I kept fucking up and then having to run. It's a, it's a huge, like, you know, stadium, I guess I'll call it. So I kept yeah. going around. And then I panicked at the very last second. Because you know we have where he drops the drops kind of with the orientation of where you are. So yeah, as he yeah. was dying, I jolted across. I was like, oh my god, it needs to make sure it drops oh, not at a time it wasn't yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and oh then after I did god. that, I was like, fuck it. I can't get another. But I saw this and I didn't give a fuck, you know? Surely acid phase was horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can't wooks walk, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And, you know, you tell yourself you'll walk in a nice pattern, but you, you make one misclick. You don't click fast enough. There's acid on the ground. And <laughs> next thing you know, just to avoid death, you just skirt across the room. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Because you can't walk back to Vorkath really like you can't no. you can't yeah, it's a huge yeah, yeah. sacrifice I mean, if you do you wouldn't want to try a second kill with tiles you've already walked on anyway like yeah. that sounds horrible so okay well fair play man got his man got his battle axe happy days <laughs> what about you link how'd that how'd that crossbow come into fruition uh so all of my rune I went to rune dragons and I did a nice oh. little pattern around and I just I, I killed I, I think it was nine got nine bars which gave me all of this um, right. And then I killed the ancient cavern fuckers for the U log, uh, and then I killed a raw a, a bear for the for the sinew, and boom, a rune shit. crossbow together. Uh, I shit you similar not, sort Link. of stuff. Completely forgot rune dragons existed. 
Oh no! That's why I was like, he's got Addy legs. Like, yeah, that's why he asked you like, did you like... make it? I was like, wait, like what? <laughs> How'd you get remarked? <laughs> yeah, Fuck. that's not ideal. It's not okay. ideal for you. Um, and then I got 129 room night bolts from Fuck. demonic gorillas. I oh, think I messed up a little on inventory. Oh really? Lie. I, I mean, I, we can see it right now. I got. Oh yeah, I messed up with that. I could. Yeah, that's right. I stepped on two okay. tiles. Looks like you stepped right. on one. I stepped on one. I actually, the one I did was on purpose as well. I had to oh. sacrifice one. Mine yeah. were, well, mine was on purpose, but I tried to be fancy to not right. step on tiles. And then I fucked mm -hmm. myself. And then I was like, okay, well, I went through all of that. I'm going to purposefully fair, break fair, it. Fair. Yeah. Fuck. I have a cheeky little super defense. Um, and I'm not going to lie, dude. The rest is sharks Ooh. and the one that I tile that I used. Dude, I opened up a fucking grubby key and I got no ranging potions, no super attacks. I got the fucking prayer pot one. Uh, yeah. So I opened up a grubby key. I wanted obviously the raging potion one. I got the combat one and it's obviously the super defense the only thing helpful. I yeah, I thought Blighted might be on the on the agenda. But here, here's but... the problem, Link. I was so focused on getting a good gear setup that I did not get. Okay. And uh, I only got five of these, <laughs> so. Right, I did actually get the runes for Venge, but it was only like one or two casts, I can't remember, so I didn't bother. Right. And obviously I'd have to waste inventory slots for that. Okay, Well, right. this will be interesting. It looks like we this both kind of didn't get the inventory we fully wanted then, so. No. Hmm. Okay, all right. All I'm right. surprised we both got a grubby key. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> Dude, some fucking rune crafter just came up and punched me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Link attacked him. I wanted his loot, bro. I wanted Dude, his glory. <laughs> and I didn't think to record it. It was like the weird... It was... Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. It was just fucking so odd. I wanted his glory. Uh, bro. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Link, uh, just hit me with that two-second warning whenever. All right, and Broski. we'll get right into this. Two-second warning starts. And now... All righty. Guys, as I said in the in uh, my reveal, I will not be specking because I just don't think it's worth it with uh, the minus attack and minus defense. And there he goes. Yeah, I. Oh, he did so much I trouble. should. Uh, I mean, that was gonna hit like a fucking one after Come I on. venge. But guys, I, I only oh have five. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my. Yeah, I, I mean, like it. the venge is. He's gonna run out of them. Is he gonna yeah. use them all? That's the question. All right, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm tie that quick. <laughs> Come on. Lisa and I can have Platy on the whole time, and now I'm just gonna fight one even last fast enough. Is that the first time I hit? Uh, yeah. yeah the other one's the bench. A one. If I'm gonna nice. hit, it cannot be a one. <laughs> My recoil did as much damage as you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Out of luck. Shut the but fuck I agree. up. I, I agree with the spec. I would not be specking if I was you. Yeah. It's a shame because it, you know, it is like my weapon and my name is literally named after the spec. Yeah. I must feel guilty not specking with it. You're a disgrace to the name, Bob. Okay, line, you didn't have to say it so fucking bluntly. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> oh, no. Know? Do you want a yes man or do you want somebody who's going to tell you the truth? I want a yes man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I respect dude, it. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spec. I'm gonna spec so I can hit higher venge combo. You, you won't even fucking see it coming. Like that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to eat though, guys. I had to eat there. I had to eat. My guy wouldn't even risk it. Imagine no. if you were on a. Uh, if you'd spec, you probably could have killed me there, bro. So you are a fucking yes, man. You just nah, tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> Actually, I think you're just tricking me to make me do it because you know it's not the right God, thing to do. Go on, you know you want to. Yeah. Boom. Come on. Bro, this is... Mm, started off a lot better. Fuck oh! me. See, if I would have hit venge. there... That was the venge hit. You guys didn't piece that together. Oh, like 90% of your DPS has come from venge. Can you stop reminding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're Avenge only Ultimate Iron Man. I respect <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it still wouldn't be worse than the fight that you fucking punched me to death when I had Barrage? <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fucking ridiculous. Come on. 
Oh my, oh. I could have done it again. That was on the tick. Hit. That was on the tick. That, oh. Shit. <laughs> down, put it I'm down, too busy screaming down. about why I'm not fucking hitting. All right, guys, oh. I am so, I'm doing it. Oh, I should have oh done God. it. <laughs> Jesus Are Christ. you fucking, oh my God. What? Guys, I've lost the tack levels. Oh my that's not God. fair. That's not what? fair. Oh. Jagex, that's not that's not okay. That's not okay, one Jagex. Of, one, of the, one of the J mods has coded in that if Rag uses, <laughs> yeah, it's like mad OP. That's Come not on. okay, Jagex. Mod Ash, I have five. Yes. Ugh. Yes. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Oh my God, yeah. that's beautiful. He has to eat again as well. Oh, and again. The power the of the rune crossbow. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Might be time for another sip of the old super defense as well. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you know they taste horrible. All oh, the potions in Rooney are just fucking disgusting. Yeah, what goes in there? A white berry? I think a white berry. It's probably from like a poisonous bush that your parents don't <laughs> tell you to eat as kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While they're getting high as a fucking kite in the back room. <laughs> yeah. He's dead! Oh! I'm, I'm out. Like, oh, he's down. I'm he's out. down and out. He's out. I don't want you to get my potion. No, I could even. Oh, even over. Uh, guys, I had to go the battle axe in the fight. The moment I got it, I was like, I could. I couldn't not do it. GZ oh, Link. You, How much Thank food? Thank you, mate. How much food? Uh, 11. Better than 11. I thought. Yeah. Better than I but, thought. I mean, the, the five benches put work in. Like, <laughs> they fucking nailed me. But yeah. Oh, guys. Ooh. Link has a collection log series over on his channel, Collection Log. Then we fight. Episode two just dropped yesterday. Yes. So go and give that a watch. Go and watch episode one if you haven't watched that either. And we will see you guys in the next set of PvP challenges. Boom. We'll see you then.